What's up, guys? Kidmar95 here, bringing you another episode. In today's episode, we have a technical analysis on Nano here, currently up about 25% in USD value, sitting at a dollar and ten cents. But we're looking at the BTC value, folks, sitting at about 17,000 satoshis. But really quick, before we start this video, let's go ahead and give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're one of those. Don't worry, I love you as well. Excuse my ugliness, folks. It's been a very, very long day, as you can tell. Looking pretty ugly feeling pretty frustrated but that's okay it's just another day in paradise anyways market cap sitting at 205 billion today's volume is 14.2 billion bitcoin dominant sitting at 53 percent btc up about five percent for the day sitting at 6300 looks like our 6000 support is holding for now ethereum up almost seven sitting at 287 ripple up almost nine and a half sitting 28 cents bitcoin cash up about five percent sitting at or yeah up five percent sorry sitting at 523 eo still below five dollars sitting at four dollars and 75 cents lumens up six percent sitting at 22 cents and litecoin sitting at 56 dollars up about six and a half cardona still below 10 where's iota iota at 47 cents that's crazy neo at 16 big winners today nano wow our coin of the day is the big winner up about 26 and 10x up about 22 drop yo 21 DX up about 20. Big losers. Aurora down 25. Densa coin down 7. And MOAC down 4. Arc down about 1, sitting at 61 cents. Two folks came here for some nano. Market cap is sitting at 146 million. Today's volume is 4.5 million. Circulating supply 133 million. Max supply 133 million. Major exchanges here Binance, Mercantox, Qcoin. Gate.io and hit BTC looks like are the major exchanges. First things first, BTC to USD on the or yeah, BTC to USD on the daily. Price came as low as five eight or five nine. I thought we were gonna break. I don't know where, just steeply rejected or radically rejected, sorry, not steeply rejected. And since then we've just kind of been pushing towards the upside. Still waiting for that break. Once we break this channel, it looks like we actually broke and closed above it. I'm waiting for that break and close above 6.3. Once we break and close above 6.3, should be seeing another uh, nice push towards the upside from 6.3 up to 6.7. However, if we get rejected at, th at this level, sorry, expect us to uh, continue to sell off towards 5,500 and then 5,000. But again, just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. You guys already know. Momentum starting to shift towards the upside or already in favor of the bulls, as you can tell. Shifting over to Ethereum to USD on the weekly. Price came as low as 244 since then steadily been retracing towards the upside, currently sitting at 285. I still think, I don't know. I, yeah, we you know we're getting a nice push towards the upside. Let's go ahead shift over to the daily. However, I think this is just a you know minor correction. Still, still in this bear market. I think Ethereum is gonna, you know, possibly come down to about 150. Is that gonna be our bottom? Who knows? But I do see a triple bottom here forming at our 150 level. Hopefully this line saves. Let's go ahead and lock that. Save this chart. See if it works. Expecting Ethereum to be one hit 150 and then head towards the upside, and that'll be our 2018 bottom. Litecoin to USD on the weekly, looking at or sitting at $56. Still calling $35, $30 as our 2018 bottom. However, we do have a nice little bounce towards the upside right now, currently sitting at $56. So who knows, maybe this is our bottom, but I'm still saying we still have a ways to go. And last but not least, Nano to BTC. We're looking at the daily here. Pretty straightforward since all-time high has just been a nice little downtrend. No signs of slowing down. This would be our last major support level here. And to be honest, I wouldn't even consider it a major support level since it's never been here or been this slow in history till today, according to Binance and TradingView. What I'm waiting for, folks, however, is I'm not even going to bother using the smaller time frames. I'm waiting for that daily break and close above 2,000. Once we break and close above 2,000, we should be seeing a nice push towards the upside. You know what? I'm going to shift to the 4-hour just to see. So the 4-hour shows us once we break and close above 1,800, we should be seeing, that'll be the break of our downtrend. And we should be seeing a push towards the upside. 
So this would be my sniper entry. This would be my safe entry. Um, I'm waiting for the breaking close above 2,000. Once we break and close above 2,000, should be seeing a nice push towards the upside. But where do I see this coin going in 2018? Currently sitting at about 17,000 or 1,700 Satoshi. The 17,000 or so coin market saying 17,000. You already know trading view 1,700. I don't know why it does that, but oh well. Currently sitting at 1,700. I think this coin could easily come back up to about 17,000, or I guess in coin markets uh, case, it'd be at 170,000. But I don't expect this to be hit until about two to three months into 2019. But again, just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to re-steam, upvote, keep commenting down below what kind of coins you guys are trying to see. Ooh, excuse me. If you guys are on YouTube, make sure you guys are subscribed. You have post notifications turned on. I do post a new video every single day. Other than that, guys, thank you for your time and thank you for watching. Take it easy. Peace.